Yeah, I had a video I just uploaded recently about Social Blade. You may have seen that, and I talked about my channel and all the stats you can pull off there. But I just want to actually do a quick video that compares my channel, which is a mostly tested channel, to other channels that are very similar to mine. And if you're watching my channel, my guess is you've seen the other channels. So I just want to do a quick rundown on how I'm comparing, how I'm doing. And by the way, please let me know how I'm doing in the comments below. Give me uh, tips, any kind of tips you think I could do to improve the channel, any kind of ideas for videos, so on and so forth. Well, you can see here, according to Social Blade, I've got a B minus. And if you look, the most important stats I'm going to show you here are the probably the views for the last 30 days. Now, I got 419,000. That's dropped down from about 600,000 in January. So um, anyway, I'm doing okay. I'd love to keep it above the half million mark. I'd love to actually be more like the million mark, a million views every 30 days. That would be awesome. That's kind of what my goal is. So if you have any ideas on what it would take to get me up to that million views per month, for the last 30 days in uh, just you know give me some comments let me know what you think ideas I'm open to all ideas uh, I think it's kind of what this channel is all about actually it's just all new ideas and doing things differently so let's compare me to the competition here is Bjorn Nyland you probably know him he's probably one of the original Tesla youtubers he's the highest ranking one of the competitors here or I don't know if there's a better word for competitors we're not really competing but or maybe we are I don't know you tell me He's got a B instead of my B minus, and he's got three million views in the last thirty days. That's he's way up because he does, as you probably know, some ridiculous videos where he's tearing apart his Model X, tug of wars, and driving it off road in the snow and getting banging it up. I think he was given his Model X by Tesla, as far as I understand. So I think he can afford to destroy his Tesla in the process. I can't, so I'm not going to kind of go to that level to do videos. So don't kind of, you can write those in the comments, I guess, some ridiculous videos like that. But he's got a lot of views off of it, but at the expense of his car, and of course, like I said, I can't afford to destroy my car. So give me some videos that are not going to, um, you know, put me into that category. Next one is Now You Know, and actually those guys have started doing some vegan videos, and I run a nonprofit you may or may not know called aplantbaseddiet.org. Aplantbaseddiet.org, you search that up in YouTube, you'll find my channel. I'm going to start promoting that channel because we talk all about plant-based eating and the vegan lifestyle on that channel. I'm not going to combine it with my current one. It's going to be a separate one. But these guys also have a B-, minus, and I'm about the same level as these guys, as you can see. About the same number of views, and they're also down last month, too. I think that um, their big push was their Model 3 that they got. Uh, you know, My big viral videos were the Curve of Death video I did and uh, the Falcon Wing doors opening in the snow. Some of those things uh, got a lot of views. So I've, I've got to rebound from that. But anyway, I'm similar to these guys, as you can see. Actually, in a lot more ways than one, since we're, talk, we're both talking about vegan stuff. Um, like Tesla is another one. They are a little bit ahead of me in terms of views. And they're also down a lot in the last 30 days. They kind of did better in, in January, I think. They've also got a B-. minus. They don't have that many videos, though. I've got a lot of videos, a lot of shorter videos, as you probably noticed on my channel. Mine are shortened to the point. I try not to drag any of this out. Here's Teslanomics by Ben Sullins. You probably know about this. He's doing better uh, in terms of views, and he's got a B minus. He does all kinds of stats. He's always in the studio. You know, I'm on the road, so that's a big difference there in our videos. Um, you know, and the like Tesla, the other one, that, there's, that's a family showing how they're with their kids and all that, how they do. That's kind of what their channel is themed on. So every channel here, even though we're kind of competitors, I guess, or in the same space, we all have different things that we're focusing on. This guy came in auto. He's been around for a long time with his Model S up in uh, I don't know, the, the Great White North, wherever he is, somewhere up in Michigan or something. He's also got a B minus, and he's got a little bit fewer views than me. So we're also also in the same space here in terms of viewership, as you can see. And let's see, E for Electric. This is a very generic or general channel that's that's here. He's uh, about half the viewership, also a B minus. So anyway, that's it. Again, I'd love to hear your comments, how you think I'm doing, because I really only have my Tesla for about a year now, and that's when all the views have come in. And so all of this has really happened in the last year, even though the channel's been around since September of 2016, as you can see. So I'd appreciate uh, letting me know what videos you like, what videos you don't like, what you'd like to see me do. And as you know, I'm really into the self-driving, I'm into the vegan stuff, I'm into the car camping, and uh, all that kind of stuff. You know. Uh, that's really the focus of my channel anyway and um, I, I imagine it's going to continue to be that way in the future so any kind of ideas you have on ways I can incorporate that more into the channel 
let me know. And thanks for watching.